Hey guys, Q&A number 15 coming at you. Three quick questions. Let's get right into it. First one is, can nutrition really change body composition? The short answer is yes. Uh, nutrition has a huge impact on body composition. It's really hard to train enough or have enough hours in the day to essentially out-train a bad diet. If you're a pro athlete, um, you might be able to get away with eating whatever you want just because your training volume is so high. But if you're just a regular person like most of us where you know you, you have a job that you work at eight hours a day, maybe you have kids, you've got you know social obligations, you got friends, family, all that sort of stuff, um, it's, it's really hard to eat whatever you want and your body not um, basically show it. So nutrition is huge as far as body composition goes, it's really important. And if you change your eating habits for the better, um, chances are you're gonna look, feel, and perform better. So can, can you change body comp with nutrition alone? Absolutely. Number two, rice pasta versus regular pasta. So a couple things. Um, if you don't tolerate wheat all that well, a rice pasta option is probably gonna be a better way to go. And then also, Rice pasta is more voluminous than a regular pasta is, meaning there's, you're gonna get more volume out of rice pasta than you would out of regular pasta for the given calories or the carbohydrate load. So if you're looking for more food volume, um, rice pasta would be a good way to go, but uh, if that doesn't matter to you um, and, and you're not worried, you tolerate wheat well, you're not worried about uh, it causing any sort of digestive distress, uh, regular pasta works too. Number three, I eat a lot of the same food sources. Should I be switching it up more? The more you can switch it up, the better, but um, also within reason. I mean, if you enjoy the same breakfast for like two months straight, by all means, go for it. If you do find that you're getting a little bit of digestive distress from it, you might want to switch it up um, because you know, that's never a good thing. But uh, the body can, can build up some sensitivities of things that you're just consuming all the time. But it's a gradual process. I think it's just kind of your, your body's way or the evolutionary way that our, our bodies are set up to not get nutrient deficient. Meaning if you're eating the same thing and getting the same nutrients all the time, our bodies are so smart that it might create a sensitivity to that given food so you get a, a wider range of nutrients so you switch up your food sources in order to get a different you know vitamin mineral profile so um, just listen to your body on that if you're having sensitivities to a food that you've been consuming a bunch you know you can take it out and then take it out for you know a couple of weeks something like that add it back in see how you do but um, if you're tolerating it fine by all means enjoy the same foods day in and day out if if you like them uh, that's it three quick ones if you have any questions for future Q&A's hit me up hope you learned something and uh, thanks for watching see ya